Well, for more, Leonid Petrov joins us now from Sydney, Australia. He is a North Korea researcher with the Australian National University. Thanks so much for speaking to us. Do you see this as strategic savvy for Kim Jong-un with a little bit of a jab at uh, Trump in the United States after their failed talks? Yes, indeed, it looks like uh, Kim Jong-un is just uh, filling in the gaps um, in what has been already discussed in his previous summits with President Trump, with President Xi, and President Moon of South Korea. So now it's time to discuss with uh, the, the role of Russia, um, which potentially may be conducive for complete, um, irreversible, verifiable denuclearization of North Korea. The question is, um, the peace regime is, is, must be established first, and it's not in the power of President Putin to, to do so. So I think it looks like um, it's just a technical um, summit, uh, which uh, may not hurt, but is unlikely to provide some crucial breakthrough in the denuclearization of North Korea. But at the same time, on the sidelines, uh, there might be um, some economic cooperation uh, agreements uh, concluded, discussion about the export of uh, North Korean labor to the Russian Far East, and general um, cooperation between Russian and North Korean uh, economic, military, security, and uh, diplomatic uh, fields. I mean, do you think that Russia would be a better ally for North Korea? I mean, or is it a question of one or the other, or can North Korea actually have both? Well, North Korea traditionally, historically, um, after it was founded by Kim Jong-un's great father, um, grandfather Kim Il-sung in 1948, tried to um, be equally distant from both uh, Moscow and Beijing. So North Korea is uh, walking a very uh, uh, fine line between the two superpowers, regional superpowers. So wherever uh, China is going to pull too much uh, attention and trying to attract more concessions from North Korea, um, Pyongyang turns to Moscow and tries to milk uh, both um, benefactors. So this time um, it looks like uh, Kim Jong-un is trying to restore the balance once again. Um, there are port facilities, uh, railway transportation links, um, automobile roads, which are linked both uh, from North Korea to China and Russia. So Kim is uh, playing a safe bet by talking to the president of China and talking to President Putin of Russia. In any way, he is going to benefit uh, from its geopolitical, geostrategic position, which separates the American allied South Korea from China and Russia. And these regions are very sensitive. Russian Pacific fleet is just um, 600 kilometers away from North Korea. And um, Chinese um, iron belt of um, industries is also uh, is, uh, protected by the buffer state of North Korea from American troops, which have been on the Korean Peninsula for already 70 years. Okay. Leonid Petrov, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for that from Sydney.